Hi guys, a video on how to machine polish older paintwork on camper vans and motorhomes. This will give you an idea of the kind of finish you can expect to get back after a two stage machine polish and then a coat of wax. Lovely deep reflection in the paint. It hasn't taken that long. This whole vehicle has been machine polished and look at the shine that we've managed to get back. And to put it in perspective, we haven't done up here yet. So look at the difference between that and look how dull that is. It's literally night and day. It's a very straightforward process and you can do, one person can do half a motorhome this size in an afternoon, maybe a, most of a day. Depends how quickly you want to get on with it. Obviously that's the bottom half, the top half hasn't been done yet. That's going to be a bit of a task. But if we just look at the finish, we've managed to get back. Obviously this is fiberglass, so you've got to do a few tricks to make sure you um, don't damage it. But it's really, really easy. And I've machine polished cars for years, I've done that. I've not done it for customers, I've done it for our own sales cars. And I've seen all these fantastic YouTube videos where people think they're like saving lives by machine polishing a car. It's so easy. It's like the basics of a trade. And my mate was here varnishing some cabinets. He's a decorator by trade. He's never done any machine polishing. And I've just shown him how to actually do this. So the first thing when you're gonna machine polish a camper is it's not like a car. The area is huge, yeah? So the best tip I would give anyone is to start sectioning it off with tape. So say that you work in a methodical way, so you actually only concentrate on a specific area at a time. The other tip I would give you is to use a soft interface pad because this is fiberglass, yeah? This won't dissipate heat. This is metal, it will spread the heat out across the panel. If you're not careful, you can overwork this, this, this surface and it will get hot and the fiberglass will yellow and there's nothing you can do about that. That's just ruined. So you need to make sure that if you don't really know what you're doing, is that you keep the machine polisher moving over the area and you work in specific areas at a time and you can keep the soft interface pad slightly damp. And if you follow those steps and work in manageable areas, you can transform this kind of finish that we've seen around the other side away from you know, quite a dull finish up here. And once again, it, it doesn't take that long. You've got a soft interface pad on the cheapest machine polisher that you can buy. And basically, if you look at the guy here, you're just spinning the polisher over the area and you're trying to get that shine back. So it's got this kind of shine in the grain. But the most important thing is work in small areas, go over it with a with a green top compound like this, then go over it with the, a, a finer compound. You could go over it with a blue top compound, but I haven't bothered, but just waxed it. And literally, you're gonna get the shine come back into this fiberglass that you'd have to pay. I was quoted one and a half thousand pounds for someone to machine polish this van, and there's nothing more. You're never gonna get a better shine than that. And I've done this with pretty basic tools that you could do at home. So if you've got an older motorhome and you didn't think you could get the fiberglass GRP to come back nice, you really can. You just need a soft interface buffer head, some fast cut compound. 3M do make specific compounds for fiberglass, but I've never needed it. I think it's just an upsell. It's not something I've ever really needed. And like I said, for a couple of afternoons work, you can absolutely transform your car or your van by machine polishing and people really make these videos they make out that they're some kind of hero by machine polishing but look at this guy here he's never done any kind of work like this before i've shown him the basics of how to do it and we're getting a showroom shine